Breaking right now, 7 Action News has learned a gas station shut down by Detroit police yesterday could reopen tomorrow. You may recall an owner was busted for selling drug paraphernalia from behind the counter. 7 Action News reporter Jonathan Carlson is live with these breaking developments. Jonathan, what have you learned? Well, good afternoon. We learned a short time ago that a tentative agreement has been reached between the city of Detroit and the owner of this gas station. There's a meeting scheduled for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we could see this place reopen as early as tomorrow. Uh, that coming from Police Chief James Craig and the attorney for the owner here. But today, I can tell you, customers have been coming here to find nothing but locked doors. All day we saw folks driving in and quickly out of this gas station in Mini Mart at 8 Mile and John R. Why you want to close me down? I mean, what's, you know, you, you didn't catch anything with me like drugs. Its owner getting into it with a police chief yesterday after DPD raided the place and seized nearly two dozen brown bags, officers say, are used to do drugs, glass pipes and all. That's the $5 bags. That have the kits that are used to consume narcotics, primarily cocaine. But is it okay to sell a crack pipe? Well, nobody say anything about it. I've been here for 30 years. The owner is lawyered up, suing to get his place back open, as the chief hopes this sends a message. This kind of sale won't be tolerated. Here's what customers had to say. Does it surprise you that he was selling that stuff around here? Uh, be honest. <laughs> No, nothing surprised me, really. Wow. Really? The owner seemed pretty like a stand-up guy or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Polite, want to come get my coffee, get my lottery or whatnot. It's like, you know, he seemed pretty smooth. You never know who amongst you or who you're doing business with. Now, a short time ago, Police Chief James Craig appeared on the Now Detroit here on Action News to speak about all of this. Listen in. What I know right now is that there's going to be an expedite hearing in the morning, and that determination will be made at that point. Uh, you know, here's the bottom line. We want that gas station, like so many others, to be successful. Uh, I believe they are a direct part of the neighborhoods. The people of Detroit deserve better. So again, it appears that there is an agreement here in the works. Finally, coming up at 6 o'clock, the seven investigators goes around to other gas stations in this area to see if they are complying with the law. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live on the east side. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News.